Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so earlier this week, I'm sure you would have seen episode three, uh, and now, of course, this is episode four. I can count. This is amazing. Uh, but I actually recorded that about two weeks ago, uh, and so I've made quite a lot of progress since then. Um, like, like you can see here, you've got I've added ooh, what is that like six houses to this village. All of the villages are gone too, by the way. I think. Um, they all might have been killed at some stage, but I think I found an additional two villages. Um, so we, there's now four villages in total. I'll show you guys the other ones soon. It is a bit of a long trek, but, um, so this is going to be representative of more of the episode format that I'm hoping to go with, with this, uh, series, which is me talking about what I've done during the week and, uh, sort of one weekly episode. Uh, but first of all, we're getting established, so that's why we've had so many, uh, in the first couple of weeks. Um, so last time, I, oh, I've already spoiled it a bit for you there, but last time I was laying out the foundations for the house, and, uh, this is what the finished product is. Da -da -da -da. Now, I mean, I would normally do a pro sort of probably still do a speed build with something like this, but as this is basically just... A, uh, ow. a base of operations for me, um, I thought, okay, you know, I'll just go ahead and build this. So, um, I, I like the way it looks. It's, um, it's, it's nothing amazing, but it is, I mean, it's a bit better than just a standard, you know, wooden shack or whatever. It's got a few different types of wood in there and obviously smooth stone and, um, I, I've actually gone with granite and, or a mixture of granite and smooth stone for the floor. I thought, oh, I'll just try out some of that, um, try out the new building uh, blocks. Um, yeah, it's really basic format uh, or layout inside, really. Just got a few for um, few furnaces and a couple of chests, large chests. Uh, down here, I've actually, whilst I might expand a bit more later, all, of, all it is is a mushroom farm. And yes, I know this is not the correct layout. The light is probably too close and everything, but I built it in a hurry. And I haven't fixed it yet, so um, that was I built that in the early stages whilst I was, you know, trying to build this, but also stay alive with whatever food I could do. Um, since then, obviously, I built a small farm out there that is keeping me fairly well nourished. Um, upstairs, basically, all we've got at the moment is a bedroom, and um, yeah, I don't know what else I'll add up here. There's not really that much space, so probably not much. This is more of a just a starter, you know, this is this is my base in this village. Um, I'm sure later on I'll probably have some mega, mega castle or something. Actually, a castle would be interesting. I didn't try a castle in the last episode, last series, I don't think. I, I don't think, I, I know I didn't. Um, yeah, so as far as the farm goes, we've got uh, cows, chickens, um, sheep. That's all I've got so far. Um, that's all I really need at the moment. Uh, pumpkins and melons growing, uh, some wheat, uh, also some carrots and uh, potatoes, and just a tiny amount of sugar cane because I don't really have any need for it at the moment. Um, oh, and I also got a saddle. Uh, now, I originally thought, oh, okay, I'll probably have to find a saddle through um, through the dungeons. But I actually managed to trade with some some of the villagers from the other other villages uh, to get one. Um, now this horse is actually really low on health, and I can't work out how on earth to feed it. Like I try and feed it, and I just keep mounting it. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Do I have any food on me? I don't think they eat any of this. You can try cooked fish. I doubt they eat it. But but basically, it's the same thing. Every time I feed them with something, they're actually able to eat. It just mounts me on, on the horse, and then occasionally it will eat, like, one sugar or something, which is clearly not enough, and, uh, yeah, it, I, I, it's really driving me nuts, um, but I'll work it out sooner or later, I'm sure. Uh, I've got this two-gate system here, because that way I can walk in and out. You see, the horse can't get out in through a single space, so as long as there's only one open at a time then um, it can't get out, but then when I'm actually on the horse and I open both, then I can just go straight through and get out. Um, yeah, uh, as far as the village goes, I'll probably keep expanding it, but I'm going to have to 
uh, breed some villagers from the other villagers, villagers from the other villagers to um, to bring here. I, I think I'll probably still expand the other villages. I guess just considering that I've started building here, I'm thinking of this as the main village. Um, I'll try and give you guys a bit of a, a bit more of a, uh, you know, a bit more of a look from up here uh, at what it looks like. Yeah, so I mean, I'll probably expand in that direction a bit and then over here. I want a bit of space because I think I'll probably build on this with, uh, you know, maybe a stable, uh, stables out the back or something. There's so many freaking horses around here. And obviously, it's only a temporary farm. I'll probably build a proper thing somewhere else. Uh, but consider, probably not close to the village because that could be a bit overwhelming, like too much stuff in the same area. I don't really know. But um, uh, yeah, for the moment, I'll, I'll go and show you guys the other villages. Now, I can't remember exactly which ones I'd... I'd found two, including this one. I think the other one was over here. So if you... Oh, I need some food. Um, if you if you go pretty much directly from behind um, this house, uh, so from the back wall in this direction, then you get to the other village eventually. Yeah, so I'm not traveling on my horse at the moment because, well, because of the food issue. Uh, I actually took, I found desert on the other side, and I took a horse all the way out there, and then it ran out of stamina or whatever, and I couldn't feed it, and I had to just take the saddle off and abandon it there, and that was my first horse, and it was really sad. So, um, yeah, until I've got, I've worked out that issue, then I'm, I'm not actually traveling on the horse, but the horse is so incredibly fast. It's um, it's a shame. I really do want to use it, but uh, yeah. So basically, this village is directly um, in line with the other one, uh, which actually makes sense because I believe that's how they generate. They generate in, um, I think it's uh, parallel to each other. I'm pretty sure, or or no, no, not parallel, but you know, in in relation to each other. And so I've got a sign there to that one is just at the moment village A, and this is village B. Um, yes, we'll come up with fancier names later. Um, but then if you keep going in this direction, uh, is it in this direction or over there? I think it's, no, oh, yeah, if you keep going in this direction. And this one is all over the place, like... The, the layout is terrible. The path is completely... I, I mean, I can just dig that up, obviously, and fix that, but you've got other issues like gaping holes around the well and just... It, it needs a lot of work, and I just don't have the stamina to start with it yet, I don't think. But um, it's, it's a pretty large village. I mean, it's not... I suppose that the first one, which was the smallest, is now probably the largest, just because I've expanded it. But it doesn't have any villagers in it, so you know it's kind of kind of redundant until I increase the population. Yeah, so there's two villages in that direction, uh, which are pretty useful ones. And then there's another one over there. I'll I'll go and show you guys. Um, actually, I'll uh, yeah, I'll go over there and show you guys that one really quickly now. Love me, horse. Love me. Eat. Yeah. So there's this sort of. I think, th is this a savannah? I think it's a savannah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, hang on. I wonder how quickly I can cross the river. Nope. Psst. See, that doesn't work. Then you have to push your horse. Look at my horse. I bet somewhere here in this savannah thing is a village, I think. Unless I'm looking in the wrong place. <laughs> God damn it. Climb, horsey, climb! Yeah, oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, so I've only been to this village once, um, actually, so... I'd completely forgotten the layout, but yeah, it's got some farms and things in it. It's pretty cool, I think it's got uh, probably a few useful villages as well. 
Um, let's, how do I switch to third person again? No, that's a screenshot. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, there we go. It's, it's beautiful. Horsey on a tree. Um, yeah, so it's another, it's, it's always good to have an additional village in my mind, so that's cool, but the fact, and they're, they're kind of in line, but the fact that they're sort of on, on opposing sides to the main village makes it a bit more difficult. Um, but hey, I like the challenge. I think at some stage in the future, especially once I've worked out horses properly, we'll keep going and we'll just explore. Um, I need to get a compass, but I do actually have some redstone. Uh, I have avoided mining pretty much, but um, I, I do have a bit of redstone from something. I can't remember what now. And uh, so I, I can probably make a compass. Um, but yeah, exploring is my main sort of focus at the moment and understanding how I'm going to lay things out. God damn it. God damn it, horse. God damn it. Okay, so we'll get back there for now. Go go back there for now, rather. Okay. Should I store this horse? He's actually worked quite well, so yes. I, I, shall, I shall stow this horse. Thank you. Look at my horses. My horses are amazing. Um, I did start, the most recent thing I've been doing is starting to mine. Not really actually mining, but just sort of getting getting ready for it, I suppose, in a way. Um, oh yeah, this is hilarious. So there's, there's this natural hole here, which is where I'm starting to mine. And there are, it's full of horses. <laughs> I think there's like five horses down here, or there were. They've just found their way down here. I think that's a donkey, isn't it? Um, so, somewhere here. Yeah, down here. So, nothing yet, really. Oh, yeah, no, actually, I have... Uh, I stopped down here because I found a... Um, like a uh, hole. But that's, that's as far as I've gone. Um, uh, yeah, so... I probably will this week continue mining and sort of yeah getting some more minerals because I and uh, ores because I don't really have that much in the way of those sort of materials. I have I've got a decent farm starting, uh, but other than that, we're a bit low on stuff. Um, well, low on the materials that we need to make what we want to uh, at this stage. Um, I probably should also be going out and just spending like an hour getting a whole lot of chopping down a whole lot of wood or something. That horse on a tree. I think it is. Um, yeah, sorry this episode has mainly been me walking around telling you guys what I've done, but I have done a lot in the last couple of weeks, so it sort of uh, makes sense uh, for me to cover all of that now. Um... Yeah, I think most of the episodes will kind of be this format, but probably there'll be a bit of mining or building tacked on. Um, if if any of you do know the horse issue, I know you're supposed to... I think it's right-click, is it, on them with the food in, in your hand, and then they open their mouths or something, I don't know. Um, and I have occasionally got it to work doing that, but just persistently getting on and off the horse and then trying to feed it. But I feel like it's a bug or something, and I can't find the answer for the life of me. There, are, I, I've seen other people searching for the same answer online, and no one has a solution for them. And this is like dating back to when horses first came in. So I don't know whether it's an issue on my end or the, whether I'm just doing something wrong. Uh, hopefully, I've worked this worked it out by next episode anyway. But if any of you guys have the same issue or have any idea what I'm doing wrong, that would be fantastic because. That's kind of the thing holding me back from doing a lot of exploring at the moment, um, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, um, hopefully you guys like the new house and everything I've done. Um, other than that, I'll see you all in the next episode.